Hi everyone, welcome back to Aiden's Railways. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's watched the previous video on the uh, big station build of the platforms. Um, it seems to have been received really, really well as I'm really happy about all the people who got back in contact uh, or got in contact um, on their thoughts on uh, the work I've done. Um, I'm not the first person who've done something like that, but I just thought I'd share it with you. And it seems to have worked really well. I'm really happy with the results of those platforms so far. And uh, there seems to be a lot of people out there saying that they're going to give it a go as well. Um, so yes, thank you. Thank you very much for that. So the next place I think is logical to uh, go with this big station build would be the footbridges. Um, so we're going to be darting back and forth. I'm not using the bench today. I'm actually using the worktop. Um, the reason for that is because uh, progress is speeding along at the moment in the train room and as a result everything's been moved and um, shelves have been taken down and all sorts of emplastering going on and everything like that so uh, it's a slight slight change in format but we've got to keep we've got to keep this going because obviously uh, the station is going to be basically the first major part of the railway to be in use so um, let's get over to the bench and then you can see where we're going to start with this footbridge So in order to make the footbridges for the station, um, I looked at lots of different kits that were available and I ended up going basically back to the old school and uh, I chose this, the Dayball Kitmaster C004 platform track side footbridge. Now uh, I remember when I was much, much younger, um, I actually remember having one of these given to me by my mother and she'd actually made it and painted it and everything like that and it was just basically as you see on the image here um, in order to do what I'm going to do I've actually bought four of these sets for these packs um, and they all old packs they're just like when I did the uh, the Delta kit so they, they they are very old tooling and molds so they'll need a certain amount of work now if I just show you the bottom part here, it shows you variations of where you can actually have the steps and uh, a variation on the actual length of the, the centre of the bridge. Now, I kept thinking this over and over and over again and it was by pure chance that I uh, just happened to look upon the part where you do it was short. Now, in this case, it's put in one, it's assuming there's going to be one track running underneath, put it that way. Now I just happened to measure the distance between where the bottom step and the bottom step using the shorter, the shorter of the arch would be and it actually sits perfectly into the center of the platforms. So by using the shorter arch that would be ideal to cross the platforms. Obviously there's four island platforms running along that I've uh, put together in the last video with uh, the modifications in painting it. The reason I bought four kits is basically because I'm going to I'm going to refer to these here as towers. There will be there'll need to be four towers. So if you can imagine we have one platform, second platform, third platform and the fourth platform there will need to be four of those towers basically where the steps run up to I've bought four packs that gives me eight of those built in certain ways now we're going to use the shorter of the arch running across so this also gives me spares in case anything in the molding or anything like that or if I make any mistakes but I also want to have the steps instead of just running down one side I want to have them run both sides so both this side and that side and a continuation to the next bridge and so on so that means I have steps running down both sides of each tower in order to do that, when you look at how these towers actually come together, they have two shorter 
uprights and two longer uprights. Wherever the bridge arch uh, joins on, it needs to be a short one. And wherever the steps join on, it needs to be another short one. Each pack gives me four of the short. So if I want to have the next arch continuing over, I need to have four short pieces in order to get the steps to go down both sides. Buying four packs means that each pack gives me four of the shorter ones. Now there's only two that actually require me to have a short at both sides and a short where the steps are. On the far ends, I only require a short here, 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 and we can have a long one again there. Mirrored on the opposite side. It also means I end up with a lot, lot of, lots of pieces spare, but it gives me the amount of actual items that I require. Um, I'll not throw them out either because obviously they will come in useful. It's quite a substantial bridge is the way I'm going to put it. Now I could have done it various ways. I could have just had three separate bridges in different areas going across. But who, if they want to get from say, you've got platform one here, two, three, four, five, and six. If you need to get from one to four, you're not going to want to run up a set of steps across, down another set of steps to run along a platform, up another set of steps, along and down another set. It needs to continue to look right. Um, there are base plates in the kits here, but I'm going to discard them because having it just like this is going to give the impression that the actual base of the uh, towers, so to speak, actually go into the platform as opposed to being looked like an item that's been placed onto it. Um, so that gives you an idea of how I'm going to go with the platforms that I made in the previous video and how I'm going to do these bridges. If I quickly open up this pack And this will give you an idea. The mouldings have got quite a lot of flash on them. Um, obviously they're on the sprues and things like that. So that where the sprues are, it's going to be, need to be tidied up anyway. And you can see here is a prime example of a lot of flash. It also appears inside as well. So that all needs to be cleaned up. So the first job I need to do before I can go any further is to remove them from the sprues clean up where any of the flash is and uh, so they'll be ready for the next step. Now in order to do that, I am literally just going to use a knife. That's all I'm going to use. I'll take them off the sprues and then I'll just run the knife across and uh, and that'll clean them up enough for what I want to be doing. Um, just very briefly, if you haven't actually had one of these kits before, If I just move these out of the way, um, this is how I'm going to have the arch like that. Um, I'll use, it. I'll use the piece of paper to make it easier to see. There we go. I'm going to have the arch like that. Now, if you were going to have it full size, then you know, you'd have that piece in in between, and it would give you a much wider area. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. So that becomes my archway. The base for that top part is now too long, but this seems to have been thought out quite well when the mouldings were made. And whether or not you can see very well, you can just see there, there is a taper running through. There's a groove in the plastic and the same at that side, slicing down there with the knife, bending it and it'll just snap straight off. And uh, you will end up, hopefully with something like that. And you can just see, there we go. It's just that shorter version. So it brings it down 
to the correct size. There we go. So, like I said, my first job now is to uh, clean up these sprues. So there you go, um, four packs later, um, a lot of flash to be cut off and things like that. And to tell you the truth, I keep finding little bits that I missed. There seems to be an awful lot of it, but um, they're a good kit. And I, 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 like I say, when I did the Daypol Deltic, that uh, it came out very well. I was very happy with that. There seemed to be a lot of people trying that one out. So uh, I'm going to persevere with these kits. So. The colours that have been chosen by Aiden, um, well, yeah, by Aiden, but I, I kind of had a bit of input as well as to the uh, various things. The last thing I wanted was a bright orange station, um, <laughs> but uh, sort of thing Aiden's gone with is a Brunswick green and uh, a cream colour. Um, so all of this lot, all of these pieces, they need to be sprayed in the green. Um, the cream part aspect of it that'll be happening later once that's dried and I'll be using a detailed brush um, as for all the steps and floors that sort of thing anything under the feet um, I did think about going wood I did think about going for a brown um, but uh, Aiden wait he hit the nail on the head with me and um, we're gonna go for the sea grey that we used on the platform tops because uh, basically it'll fit in it'll be like a continuation of those platform tops with the uh, with the steps and so on and I think that'll work well especially with a bit of weathering for the smoke and soot and all that sort of thing because uh, those brushes those bridges they, they, they'll have got a lot of a lot of uh, stick off soot and things like that so uh, next place we're gonna be is on the floor um, with lots of newspaper so uh, that's what we're gonna use for <laughs> protecting everything around while I spray uh, there's actually not that much to use protecting at the moment because uh, there's not an awful lot in there but sea grey brunswick green um and then well see me in there quick spray and then uh, we'll get on to the detail work and starting to assemble it So there we go, as you can see the paint has dried. Uh, one thing I have done that I haven't done on camera, if I just bring it up here, I've used some of the white wash again and I've just put it into a few little places. I haven't been too careful about it, I've just let it roll into certain areas just to give the impression that it's uh, rather than just green, it has actually got the white. There is uh, areas on the actual moulding to uh, facilitate that. So the next step it will be uh, gluing one of these towers together now this one because it's got a long one here and we've got three short ones will be an end piece will be one of the ends um as opposed to in the center so uh, i'm going to set away gluing that together um, i'll show you me doing this bit and um, putting this part together um, and then we'll probably move straight on to uh, a finished product because uh, there's an awful lot to do <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we have it. Four date ball kits to make the three arch span. We've got the steps going down either side of each arch across four platforms. Um, as I said at the beginning of this video, the train room is all being prepped, ready for everything going down, plaster going on the wall. So obviously the platforms from the last video, I've just got four of them here just to show you exactly how it's play, show you roughly how it's going to sit across the platforms. But uh, yes, I'm happy with that. Um, I hope this video has been of some use to you or just a little bit of entertainment. Um, it has took a long while to put the video up. It's not because it took a long while to actually uh, build the bridge. Uh, in actual fact, I became very ill uh, not long after the last video. So it it's took a little while to recuperate and things like that. So uh, yes, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of thing. I do enjoy the comments. Um, if you've got any questions, get in touch. If you've done this before, get in touch. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. And the next video is going to be even more complex with what I've got planned next for the station. Um, but uh, in the meantime, there might be a video totally unrelated to uh, to the station. But uh, yes, the station is starting to get there. It's on its way. Um, but there's an awful lot more to do yet. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you again soon. Bye now.